Hi Steve, it's really good to see you. It's my pleasure. So when did you get involved with Wallasey Guide Dogs for the Blind? Well, I started to lose my sight in my mid-50s, late 50s. And um, when I got medically retired from my employment, it, I decided that I needed a guide dog other than the white cane that I was using. And once I qualified with my dog, um, I actually met another guide dog owner on the Wirral and they introduced me on to the Wallasey group. But I've only been active as a committee member and helping with the fundraising for about four years now. So not that long then. I think I'm right in saying that there's no government funding for guide dogs and that you're totally dependent on charitable donations. We're totally dependent on charitable funding. In fact, what's probably not known is that the government do not even recognise guide dogs as working dogs and that guide dogs themselves still have to pay VAT on the food they supply. So it is entirely through voluntary contributions, but we do get a great deal through bequests also. So I wonder if government funding for guide dogs will ever change. So um, what anyway is the cost of training a guide dog? The initial training from when it's uh, taken away from its mum, it's eight weeks old, to 18 months of age when it's a fully trained dog, that period alone costs in excess of £10,000. Uh, but in its lifetime, um, a working dog costs £60,000. Not cheap, but worth every penny. So what is the working life of a guide dog? They usually retire at around the age of 10. So you're looking at getting eight years or more of work out of the dog but unfortunately some dogs like human beings decide well I've had enough now and and I her sister for instance retired at five because she decided she didn't want to be a guide dog anymore but as a general rule they work to the age of ten I see you have Judy with you Judy's gorgeous what's her breed yeah, she's a retriever a Labrador retriever cross Judy sit good girl is Jodie seven or eight? Jodie is uh, eight and a half. So she's got about, hopefully, another two years work in her. I see Jodie has a special red and white harness. What's that for? Guide dogs usually wear the fluorescent yellow on their harness. But Jodie, as you can see, is quite rightly, has got red and white checks on hers. That is because Jodie is a dual dog. Um, not only am I blind, I'm partially deaf. So the red and white check markings um, are to denote the fact that, as well as not seeing you, I may not hear you. But not a lot of people know that. And it's also, she also wears it for education purposes, so that I can inform more people. There are also guide dogs that wear the blue and white check, and they're usually seizure dogs and guide dogs. She's a very special dog. Doubly talented, isn't she? She's also a naughty dog sometimes. Well, Steve, it's been lovely to talk to you and meet Jodie as well. It's been my pleasure. It's been a pleasure, Jenny. Thank you.